Did you all know that February is Heart Month? And Virginia Mason Franciscan Health and Tyler Lockett from the Seahawks would like to encourage everyone to know their heart stats and talk with their doctor about their heart. You got to be able to make sure that you're taking care of your heart because you need it in every single thing that you do. And for me, just being able to play sports is really about being able to eat right, sleep right, and drink right. That's what one of our strength and conditioning coaches would always tell us when I first came into the league. And you never really understand and know how important it is, but the older that I get and the more you kind of feel your body changing, the importance is being able to make sure that you're nourishing your body with the right things and taking care of your heart. Because as long as you're doing that and, and trying to be active, whether it's um, for me being on a football field or whether it's jogging, whether it's being on a bike, whether it's even going for a walk, doing something to kind of get your heart rate going, it does enough to be able to like prevent like any other things that's not good for you. So some good advice from Tyler, who we'll hear from in a bit again. But now I want you all to meet my new friend, Dr. Mariko Harper from Virginia Mason Franciscan Health's Hypertrophic Cardiomyopathy Program. Thank you for being here. It's my pleasure. So let's talk about kind of some of the things that Tyler was mentioning, our heart health and heart stats in general. What can you tell us about that? Well, so much of heart disease is preventable, but can be silent early on. And so it's really important that we check out and know what our blood pressure is, our blood glucose, our cholesterol levels, and also your family history. Yeah, that has got to be really important, knowing what has happened before you. I don't think that as a young person, I would have ever checked my blood pressure or worried about it. How important is it to get heart screenings at a young age? Very important. Young athletes, especially, can be at risk for silent heart conditions that can lead to sudden cardiac death. And there's so much that we can do to screen for them and prevent these deadly events. Okay, so what age should I be taking my son or daughter in to get their heart screened? Well, aside from the general pediatric, uh, pediatric visits, right. we recommend children from 12 and over to come in annually for screenings, including EKGs especially if they're athletic. Okay, I have never heard this. I am so glad we're here talking about this. Um, so going to a cardiologist should be a normal part of going as a child to the doctor. Well, at least getting something called an EKG and a, and a physical exam. An okay. EKG is an electrical tracing of the heart that can pick up underlying heart disease that could put a child at risk for sudden cardiac death. So when you're doing the AKG, EKG, I love that you say it's kind of an electric uh, like screening of the heart. Uh, what are you looking for? So we can pick up arrhythmias, which are heart rhythm disturbances that mm -hmm. sometimes manifest while a child is playing a sport. And sometimes we can pick up underlying congenital heart disease, meaning heart defects that they're born with but might, but might not know about. Mm -hmm. So conditions such as hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, which is one of the number one causes of sudden cardiac death in young athletes. It is so important that we're paying attention to our heart health. And I know that Tyler Lockett also has a lot of feelings to share on heart health. I would encourage everybody as as young as you are to be able to just try to get your heart screened once a year uh you know it might not be something that's fun to you early on at an early age but if you really want to try to live as long as you know guys put you on this earth you got to be able to do your part and you want to be able to take care of your body and it's it's better mentally to know that you're okay than to go out there and you never know if you're okay or not you just assume that you're okay and so, yeah, eating healthy works a lot, too. You know, going out there to exercise works a lot, too. Uh, making sure that you're not putting some things in your body that could, you know, harm your heart. Like, that stuff works, too. But you also want to just make sure that you're getting checked because even though you're doing those things, it still might not give you a clear head. But going to get checked you can be able to get all the information needed possible to know and you get reassurance that everything is okay. I totally feel that. I feel that as a, as a person with a heart and as a parent with kids who, you know, like you said, it's important to get these screenings young to know everything is okay. Is there a time when you can maybe tell that something's not okay? Are there any signs or symptoms that we should be looking out for? Absolutely. So part of the heart screening is asking questions. Mm -hmm. So symptoms like shortness of breath, passing out or nearly passing out during activity or after activity, 
chest discomfort or palpitations, feeling like your heart's racing, mm. are all signs that something might be amiss. Okay. Virginia Mason Franciscan Health and the Seahawks and the Nick of Time Foundation have teamed up to offer a free young athlete heart screening yeah. on March 16th at the Virginia Mason Athletic Center. That's really exciting. Can you tell us about that? Absolutely. I'm so looking forward to this event. We're anticipating about a thousand youth mm -hmm. coming in wow. for this free screening of their heart. Uh, you do need to sign up, so you sign up online. But in doing this, we're hoping to pick up potentially, you know, deadly mm. conditions before they become a problem and prevent sudden cardiac death in our young population. This is such a wonderful event. Thank you so much. And here are a few more words from Tyler. When we're talking about young kids being able to get their heart screened, it's hard at times for them to be able to know where to go and who can do it. And for me, it's kind of easier because I'm a professional athlete and they can lead you to the right people. But the, the cool part about this partnership with um, Virginia Mason Franciscan Health and the Seahawks is that we're going to be doing heart screening for all young kids. And so they'll be able to start getting their heart screened. And if they don't know where to go, now you know where to go to be able to make sure that you are good. And if something ends up popping up, you're in the right hands because we were able to catch it earlier than later. That's right, Tyler. Thank you so much. And thank you to Dr. Harper for being here. And a reminder, free young athlete heart screenings are happening on March 16th at the Virginia Mason Athletic Center. You do need to sign up ahead of time, like Dr. Harper said, and you can do that on the website on your screen, nickoftimefoundation.org. Just go do it. This portion of New Day Northwest is sponsored by Virginia Mason Franciscan Health.